Hi Libra, this is your behind the scenes reading for November 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for November 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for November 2021 universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of libra for november 2021 show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Libra. Libra, these are your cards, honey. So... Libra, you have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value but it's on the slowest moving night in the deck so having anything solid stable secure and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all so stability or commitment has been halted here so libra listen you know everything has come to a screeching halt or slow down tremendously dealing with practicality money assets resources property or a commitment here you guys is relationship clarify the knight of pentacles for Libra. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Libra. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Libra. It is clarified with the Two of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I? Shouldn't I? Will I? Won't I? This can be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you could be weighing things up, trying to decide should you, shouldn't you bring things to a screeching halt, or you're telling me that there's stagnation because someone was juggling, okay? Libra, you have death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that things are ending here. It could be transforming after an ending, okay, and starting new after an ending. Some type of transformation. Clarify death for Libra. Clarify death for Libra. Clarify death for Libra. It is clarified with the Five of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that was spilled out, all the effort and energy that was spilled out, all the love that was spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things panned out in the relationship. So Libra, listen, you're telling me that you're hurting, you're mourning here, that things are ending, that you guys are going stagnant here. But Libra, are you feeling remorse and regret? For the part that you played, were you juggling? Did you cause the ending and the stagnation? Libra, you have the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters. Moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you, agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So, Libra, listen, you know, maybe you're wanting to put it behind you guys because maybe you're feeling remorse and regret. 
However, you can tell me that you're you're hurt, yeah, but you're just wanting to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship because it was them that was juggling. Clarify the Six of Swords for Libra. Clarify the Six of Swords for Libra. Clarify the Six of Swords for Libra. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Libra, could be dealing with a Gemini. Now you can tell me that, hey, you know, we're twin flames and I want us to put it behind us. You can tell me that there was another other lover and this is the reason why you're moving out, moving on and moving away from the relationship. But I don't know, is it you moving towards the other lover? Are you regretting causing an ending to one relationship and moving towards this other lover? Clarify the lovers for Libra. Clarify the lovers for Libra. Clarify the lovers for Libra. It is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Libra, listen, you can tell me because you guys are twin flames, you want to put it behind you guys. And yes, there may have been another other lover, but you're wanting to work things out here. However, Libra, this could all be work or business because when we're dealing with the lovers, this could also be a partnership and work or business here. Okay? <sighs> Something could be going on there. Stagnation. You have the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer. But you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So, Libra, could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Libra. Clarify the chariot for Libra. Clarify the chariot for Libra. It is clarified with the four of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coin, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Libra, listen, you can tell me that you're holding on to your coins because you're planning on making a move here, okay? Maybe you're leaving this workplace. You can tell me that you're keeping something close to your chest here, okay, that you're planning on making some type of move, okay? Hey, Libra. Could be saving your money as well, like I said. Three of Wands, Aries, Leora, Sag. This is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So, Libra, like I said, you know, you could be looking to expand here, looking to see what else is out there, but you could also be expecting something here. Usually, the ships are here. It could be some money. Clarify the three of wands for Libra. Clarify the three of wands for Libra. Clarify the three of wands for Libra. It is clear what the three of wands. You know what? You could be waiting to get your money. You're saving your money to make some type of move to look to see what else is out there. Okay, you're looking to expand here. I feel like you're and and this is the thing that includes relationship and also business okay you could be waiting to get your money before you make some type of move or you're saving your money to make some type of move libra this is your behind the scenes reading for november 2021 you guys give me feedback subscribe like comment and share and i'll see you guys next week peace